Hey guys, Major M. June 10th at 4.16. So no vloggy today because I'm out. And as I said yesterday, last night we went through all the files that I transferred from CD to my drive. So thankfully, the uh, South Hill Library branch is open now on Mondays before it used to be closed. So I don't have to keep, I don't have to go all the way down to Maine and then go all the way to Fraser. I can just go straight to Fraser. So much easier. <laughs> so you're walking to the bus stop with me. So you have to go to the library and I literally just go through the CDs and then transfer it onto my drive like I showed you guys. So it doesn't take that long, but there's a lot that I have to go through of CDs. And then I still have one more batch that I'll have to do, but I'm not going to do it today. I'm doing little by little. <laughs> and then when I come home, that's when I go through my files because I got my music and I could eat and be relaxed at home. Because at the library, you can't eat, can't drink. <laughs> So, that's the only downfall. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd spend more time on the computer. But, uh, yeah, I don't have a CD-ROM. And my internal hard drive does not work. So, I'm probably going to have to recycle that. But, this is, like, the perfect weather right now. It's not too hot, not too cold. This is the best <laughs> for me. But it's not winter. Winter is actually my favorite when it's snowing. But for the summertime, this is what's the best for me. But I really don't like being out. <laughs> but like I said, I got to go through these files. And I want to make the video before Friday. I found a lot of photos last night. Of my first cats. Nino and Junior. So I'm hoping that there'll be more on once I transfer stuff over. So, yay, hopefully. Because I completely forgot what's on it. <laughs> so we're going through the cemetery. There's a big hill. To me, it's a big hill. But to other people, it's normal. <laughs> but I do love the cemetery. And then I gotta go wait for the bus. And like I said, I'm only gonna be at the library maybe half an hour to an hour. Because it doesn't close till 6. So if I don't have to wait for a computer, it's better. The thing though, the library on Main Street, they have more computers compared to us. <laughs> <laughs> the tree's blocking the view. I want to get a photo of me smoking by the cemetery. <laughs> but yeah, there's the hill. You guys can see it. It's not really that big, but like I said, I'm always out of breath. <laughs> Probably because I'm smoking, but... But I like walking this way because of the cemetery. I think I keep saying my brother's rocks are in here. So if it's a nice day on Friday, I'm probably going to come here because it's one year since Hope passed away and put Hope's Rock by my brother's rock for the one year. I'm pretty sure it's it's still there, I just gotta find it. <laughs> I never remember where I put it. But... <sighs> it's a nice cemetery. But I've had, I think it was my 40th birthday. That... I 
I put my brother's rock on there and it's still there. And I never get in trouble for it. But that's what I'm going to do to honor Hope's memory and do the video. That's why I'm trying to get through as many files as I can. I don't think I'll get through all of them before Friday, but... We'll see. <laughs> And, uh, my place is a mess. <laughs> That's why I cooked today, because I did the food prep with you guys for the poison chips and the uh, vegan chicken noodle soup. So I wanted to cook at least one thing. When I have my coffee and put away the dishes and all that. So, I'm glad the library's open late. <laughs> so... Then that way at least I could do one dish and I gotta eat before I go out anyway, so that's why I ate on camera. <laughs> but those chips are so good and they're so easy to make. So hopefully you guys give them a try. Like I said, you don't have to necessarily put the filling on it. It just tastes better. You could just put rice paper sheets in the pot and it's hot. I know, but I recorded it so many times <laughs> when I'm cooking. This is why I don't buy chips anymore, because I eat no chips. Although I still have the ketchup chips in my bag if I get hungry. <sighs> but yeah, Mountain View Cemetery. It's pretty. <laughs> Almost at the bus stop, and I'm dying. <laughs> Dying of walking. <sighs> so then, yeah, and then last night I was so tired, but I still did the dishes really quick before I went to bed. So I didn't show you guys, because I do want to make bread again, which is why I went by fire. And hopefully tonight. So I'll upload this when I get to the library. Because there's Wi Fi there. So, yeah. That is all about honoring hope. <laughs> or I don't know, I might not come. To, I probably won't come to the cemetery on Friday. Because then I want to do that for every single cat. And then there'll be so many rocks. <laughs> so, probably not a good idea. Because I already have two rocks in the area. So, that's what I do on my birthday. Every year. So, yeah, I still don't know what to do for Hope's Memorial. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Or to celebrate one year. Other than doing collage and video. Maybe that's all that I'll do. 4.30. Oh. Um, it was the best, but I'm still smoking. And I'm not, I'm not rushing for it. It's still like... Uh, not that far away. <laughs> but so I'm like, uh, I'll just wait. The next one. I got some time. I'm out of breath, so. When I'm out of breath, I gotta let it take a moment. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to run for it. It's already gone now, the bus. Yeah, I just went up that hill. Oh. I'm out of breath. <laughs> But it's not just the smoking, because sometimes I don't smoke when I go up the hill, and I'm still out of breath. 
It's because of my swollen feet. So, yeah, I really don't want to go out today. But like I said, I do have to go get uh, powdered juice and I have to get flour. Because I know as soon as I make um, bread, I'm going to be out. And I want to make vegan cinnamon rolls again. So today is Monday. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be home. Thursday, I'll be with family's kids and do laundry. And then Friday, and then it's Friday. So I might come back to the library on Wednesday. But maybe not, because I could always go through those files another time. I don't want to make, I got to start on the video, so. Yeah, this is the last time I'm going to the library until next week. And. My place is a mess. It's a disaster. <laughs> So, when I get back, I gotta take my B, my vitamin B pill, and then, um, probably, uh, start going through the files. But actually, I might clean the bathroom first because that's really annoying me. I gotta get paper towels so I can do that. So we'll clean. Hopefully, we'll clean the washroom today together. I always say we're gonna do something and then we don't. <laughs> but I do have a lot more energy today. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but I gotta tell you guys about my dream that I had last night. So, one reason why I didn't want to wake up. Is because I, I was having this weird, weird but good dream in a way. It's kind of hard to explain. So, and I don't know, I watch, before I go to bed, I watch Gilmore Girls and Local 60, and I don't believe in zombies. <laughs> Which is kind of funny why I had this dream. Very open again. Remember, this is just a dream. This didn't really happen in real life, obviously. So I dreamt that the world was ending, <laughs> and there's zombies are taking over the world. And I went live on YouTube to to tell you guys about what was going on. As zombies are taking over the world, and a lot of people are trying to escape. But I'm like, How do I, I don't have the energy to do that. It's the end of the world, it's time to go. <laughs> and then, this guy knocks on my door when, during live, and he's a priest. And he is like, it is... 20s or 30s, yeah, in his 20s, and he was white, and yeah, he's like, it's the end of the world, and God told me to come to you, <laughs> to try to save you, and help you, uh, escape, um, yeah, yeah the zombie invasion, <laughs> I told him, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm done with fighting, and I don't want to end up being a zombie, so I was going to end it, and do it live, so people don't worry, because they know the zombies are coming. Again, this is a dream. So then he goes, 
actually God just told me it's fine. So we're going to be like Romeo and Juliet and take uh, poison. <laughs> but first we're going to get married. And then we're going to take poison and go to heaven together. <laughs> Instead of trying to survive, the zombie is kicking over because most of the time, in, at least in zombie movies, people who have tried to escape zombies end up being zombies anyways. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't believe in zombies. I don't want to get married. I don't want to fall in love. And yet, this is this is a dream that I have. <laughs> that it's the end of the world and that this priest comes to my door and says that he wants to get married. and end it with me and God said it was fine because the zombies were taking over the world. <laughs> I mean, how bizarre of a dream is that? For someone who doesn't care about zombies and know that they don't exist. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. So part of me didn't really want to wake up because I was actually liking the dream about the uh, priest. Which is weird because uh, priests don't get married, and they're not young. <laughs> it's actually really good looking. I've never seen this guy before, ever. So it's like, it's kind of weird though that I have this dream of a priest coming to my door wanting to get married, and when the zombies are taken over, then it's like Romeo and Juliet, it's two to one. <laughs> so yeah, that was my dream. I thought it was pretty funny. But if anything ever happened like that, like a zombie's taking over or something's taking over the world or if there's like a big war going on in Vancouver and I gotta try everything that I can to survive, I wouldn't. <laughs> I know like in U Ukraine a lot of people were doing that. I'm like, I just don't have that kind of energy. <laughs> and yet there's like older people so I don't know, maybe that's why I was having the dream, because I've been thinking about the war and all this kind of stuff, and what people have been going through. But yeah, there's a 97-year-old woman during the Ukraine war, and she walked across the border to reunite with her family with nothing. 97 years old, I'm like, I cannot do that. Brave, brave, brave. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was funny, so I had to share it with you guys. So remember, that was a dream. Didn't really happen. Because zombies are not never going to take over. They don't exist. There's only one zombie movie that I, or zombie show that I like, which is All of Us Are Dead, which I haven't seen in so long. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why am I dreaming about zombies? <laughs> I guess I needed a reason to for something in my dream to say it's the end of the world kind of thing. But, yeah, so, as much as I don't want to go, like I said, I do have to go. But anyways, that was my dream, so. <laughs> I just wanted to share it. I thought it was romantic. The end of the world, and I and a uh, priest comes to my door, and we get married. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was actually pretty good looking, though. It's too bad it's only in my dreams. <laughs> it's funny though because when I was in broadcasting school, um, I actually did a bet because there was a I had a dream about a guy that I've never met before, and then I ended up seeing him on the bus going to school and then I told them I saw the guy that I had a dream about but when I saw him in real life there was no attraction whatsoever so it's like he was good enough for the dream but not good enough in person but it's just kind of weird that I had a dream about somebody and I actually saw them and I'd never seen them before and I didn't know who they were so who knows maybe this could be telling me to uh, maybe maybe I'll meet a Christian guy one day, <laughs> a Christian priest. 
close to my door. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, sometimes I do whenever I wait for the bus. I'm like, oh. I wait for the bus and it ends up being a long wait for the bus to come. So I'm gonna have another smoke because I can. <laughs> Since I have to wait, I got my bus pass out. <sighs> but I'm really glad that I saved the three dollars. Now I got thirteen dollars, so that's good. And three days a week and a half away. Yeah, my place is a mess, so soon as I get back, I'm gonna get to my, to my pill, my vitamin pill, the B1, and then get to my pajamas, clean the washroom with you guys. I mean, it's not gross, like, disgusting, but it needs work, <laughs> so... I'll even, I'll even wipe down the toilet with you guys. It's not that bad. But, uh, yeah, so I'm down at the library. Is that a bus? Oh, the bus is here. Okay, talk to you guys after. When I get home, we're on Patrick's Race. If you enjoyed the dream.